YouTube, this is the second part, and today I will be facing off against Triple Storm. Hey YouTube, this is the second flock, and I finally got my first squad cards uh, last weekend at my locals. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how to play squads. The first rule about squads is they go on their own deck. As you can see, different card sleeves. You can use different card sleeves for their own deck. Because this is called the reinforcement deck, reinforces your ninjas, apparently. The only thing that goes in there right now is squads. They may, they may come out with other cards later that go in the reinforcement deck. The reinforcement deck, sort of the same deck building rules, except instead of 50 cards, you have anywhere between 0 to 15. Uh, they're face down. Uh, only you can look at them. And they're good because you can pull out any ninja at any time if you have the right stuff out instead of searching your deck for it like a platoon needs. Um, squads? How to play them is have, like, the Neji and Hinata squad. You would need any Neji Hyuga in play, any Hinata Hyuga in play. You would take the both of them, remove it from play, face up, I guess, and then you get to play this from your reinforcement deck. The reinforcement, uh, I mean, the squatting does not count as your one ninja per turn. And it's pretty good because you can pull these out of nowhere. Unlike platoons where you would need Hinata on the field, then chop or her in order to play this. Squads are usually better because even strong ones don't have handcuffs at this point. Um, so they're good in any deck. Like, my deck is using this squad because it uses a good Hinata combo. And then I just threw in a random Neji in case I wanted to play this. And it's not even part Earth. Okay. Now again, to play a uh, squad, all you gotta do is have these two in play, remove them from the game. Play the squad. When the squad is no longer in play, it gets removed from play. So that's basically how you play a squad, but we're nowhere near done yet. A lot of big technicalities on this stuff. Alright, so, just... This is the first thing, just remove the play, then remove when it's dead. Next we're going to go to the Kakashi and Mike guy platoon, and the squad. The platoon, the squad. Now, uh, as you can see, the, the platoon is old, has a 5 entrance cost, 1 hand cost. The squad has a 7 entrance cost and 0 hand cost. See? They don't have hand cost so far, which is pretty good, especially for the Sasuke Rochimaru uh, squad, which I don't have yet. They usually have better stats, like how this card is 7362, this one is 8383. Squads are like the ninjas on steroids. Alright, so another way to play a squad is using platoons. What can I do? I play my Kakashi down, then uh, as long as it's turn 7, Put my Kakashi in the chakra, play the Kakashi my guy platoon, get, uh, put, pay the hand cost, get rid of this, remove from game well, only one ninja this time, it doesn't count as two deployments, just as one ninja in a squad, and play this. Now because both of these have hand cost, it does take four cards out of your hand to do this combo, but it does give you three chakra. Which is enough to activate this guy's effect, which is you can discard X amount of chakra to get rid of X amount of your opponent's ninjas with an entrance cost of one or less. That at least gets rid of your opponent from chump blocking. And it's got pretty good stats. Alright, so in my deck, which is lightning fire right now, I only use Kakashi, not my guy. So I use the Kakashi, the Kakashi guy platoon, since there's no room for any guy. I don't have anyone that's good enough. And then the squad, so I can easily put this in play because of the how much draw power I use. So yeah, you can get a platoon into a squad. Now, um, in addition, you can take a platoon that's in play with, uh, let's say, the Kakashi and Pack-On squad you want to play. You could take any Pack-On and any squad uh, and then just put that in play. The rules for squatting are you just need both ninja in play, 
you get rid of them, and you put out the other card in play. So you could do this via uh, one platoon with one card on it, and a different card with pack on. Or you could do it one ninja, second ninja, and then squad. Or you could do two different platoon cards into that. Or you could do one platoon with both names into this. The only thing I cannot do, let's pretend this card is also a squad. I cannot play this squad with Kakashi and Guy. And then squad it into a different Kakashi and Guy. That's the only way you can't squad with both ninjas. So basically, I could take the Kakashi Guy platoon, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, you could take Ninja Dog Squad All Gathered, who has name pack on somewhere in the characteristics, and put this in play. Which is Kakashi Pack on uh, Squad. So you can also just do it normally. Or you can take one squad uh, with Kakashi, a squad, uh, normal ninja with Pack on, and put the Kakashi Pack on pl uh, Squad. Or you could uh, fuse this into Kakashi Pack on, have a Mike guy in play without Kakashi, and then squad these into a squad. You can even squad into squad, as long as they are not the same name squad. So this can turn into this, as long as this isn't Kakashi and Guy. Now, so basically here we have Double-Headed Wolf, which has name Kiba and name Akamaru, and Shino Aburame, name Kiba, name Shino, squad do Shino Kiba. Now there is a Kiba and Zuka and Akamaru uh, squad card out, so, for the sake of pretending, since I don't have it yet, I'm going to pretend this card is Kiba and Akamaru Squad. Now, the only problem with Squad so far is that I don't know if Double Head Wolf by itself can turn into that. Because Double Head Wolf is two ninjas in one, it's not a squad and it's not a platoon. So, I'm not really sure if this can turn into this by itself. The Double Head Wolf who has name Kiba and name Akamaru, turn, remove from play, play the Kiba Akamaru squad. I have no idea. Uh, I guess if I find out, I'll post an annotation or whatever they're called on YouTube. And that's the second flock on squad signing out.